You're looking taller than me, mm -hmm. which is nice. Meanwhile, you're half my height. See, coming a bit. Yeah. We're now wearing gray shirts like we planned it. Ah! Yeah, you've added it. You've been eating your mother's food. You've been eating your mother's food for a while. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hello, Esther Omori. Wow. Esther Omori, haven't seen you in a while. Okay. How important is love in a relationship or marriage? Please, if you are watching on um, Facebook, Star Wars is on. The other day there was a, a serious competition about who was getting more stars and somebody actually got me I think it was 1,000 or 17,000 stars or something like that. Bookie Shorte, how are you doing my darling sister? Someone said, is that your daughter? No, this is my mother. You haven't met my mom? <laughs> Mommy, please greet them for me. Yeah. So Neneba, so all of you are here today. When it comes to relationships, that's how people all come out. Um, I was actually supposed to bring Health Athena today, but I didn't get back to her on time. So I wanted to talk about health and um, and all that. And um, today I got a, I got a. First of all, I want to greet the first person that will send me stars on Facebook. Let me even greet them. I wanted to. Um, I got a video about some pastor. Oh, wow, somebody don't jump, send 200 stars. Yeah, like you have to hail this person. <laughs> uh -uh, straight away, 200 stars. Tina Shade Toyo. Tina Shade Toyo. Say hi to her. Hi. She said, love is very important in a marriage or a relationship. Now, um, God bless you, Tina. You are the very first person to buy me stars. Thank you so much. Big shout out to you. You're watching on Facebook right below the video. You can buy stars right there. It's actually quite easy. Okay, someone said, this is your sister. Fine, no, Abby. I thought you said, no, you're my sister. I'm my mama. I'm the only sister. Someone looks this young. You are saying she's my sister. My father cannot have a child this young. It's only me that can have a child this year, but hey, what you on about? Now, please, can we, my problem with Nigerians is that's why you have the kind of leaders you have. We have a topic on ground, everybody's saying, this girl is fine, this girl is fine, this girl. that's why. Can we deal with the issue? Huh? Somebody just sent a thousand stars. Hey, those are the kind of people I'm looking for today. Reggie, Reggie baby, don't start again. Do you know that the last time we're live, Reggie Baby, this Reggie Baby, <laughs> she was the queen. She won the Star Wars. One guy was dragging with her. Oh, the guy tried. The guy gave her a run for her money. Last minute, she just overtook him. Reggie Baby, 1,000 stars. Reggie Baby is dominating the entire Star Wars. Uh, Elizabeth Abu also sent 310 stars. Thank you so much my darling people thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i'm so happy to be here i'm so happy to be in your midst and i'm so blessed and um lucky in every way or form okay we have somebody here who's this this person looks familiar mamak somebody sending me my own video live that he freezes this live video Hey, okay, okay, I just hear him. Oh, wow, another person. Oh, yeah, can you see? People just come through. They just come through. Reggie Baby, 1,500 stars. Oh, man. Reggie Baby, 1,500 stars. She has started again. Oh, more. Reggie Baby, say hi to Reggie Baby now. Hail Reggie Baby for me. Ah, you, don't know how, you don't know how those Fuji musicians do. <laughs> Bungalong, bung, bungalong, bung, bung. No, now nah, I'm doing like, you know, future musicians, when you yeah. spray their money, they'll start, yellow, sweet baby, big cheeks, yellow. <laughs> I want to say it, I bought, yellow. <laughs> 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 Nasa, so, so Fuji musician, I've never seen Fuji musician before. Hey, the more that they hate you, you go, come, they pay. 
Remember when we were at um, your mom's at Taste Bud's father's funeral? Now, I didn't plan it. But I just decided to hold some money. Someone said, do give away. Let me use you and do give away. Does anybody need a young Mula 2002? I'm giving him away. In fact, I have some face caps from Mayfair Autos. Big shout out to Mayfair Autos. I have some face caps from them. We'll be doing giveaway with that. And we'll also be giving away young Mula 2002. If you need a house boy, uh, security, just in case your toilet needs washing. He's amazing. I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving him away. Uh, do you need a houseboy? Anybody needing a houseboy? Please indicate you need a houseboy. He's right here for you. We are doing giveaway of houseboy. So uh, just just indicate, indicate, indicate. Uh -huh. So that's how I went to Taste Bud's uh, father's funeral. Now um, one person just came through and sent two thousand stars. K boss man. K boss man. As in when you, when your name is boss man and you are a boss. Oh baby 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 sorry sorry sorry. They are one no one no alowo one no alowo correct to so leave the topic. They are paying us. Where am I going to get the money? I'm going to pay you from. These the people that hey one no wo passe passe one no alowo correct to. Hey let me tell them this story. Then we'll go back to our topic. Don't be angry. Please be buying stars. Though. That's how that day. I now like. At the airport, I was now changing money. Sorry, I was now withdrawing money to have cash on me. You know, when you're withdrawing money, it's one one thousand they gave you. So I withdrew like two hundred k cash just to hold more. You know, when you are going to the village, you don't want to be broke. You just want to share, hold some cash. Oh my! Now they say me they just mention me by mistake. Oh, they just hailed me. See, I was in law. I just went. I still have the video. I just brought out. I one, one, this. You remember this? <laughs> I just brought her one one thousand naira notes. By the time I finished spraying fifty k, just ordinary fifty. Imagine spraying fifty k in the village, or more. The whole band begin to sing my name. My head gone. They swell. That's so I go spend another fifty k. They just as they, they just they sing they sing they sing they hype me for English finish. They hype me for Igbo. They begin to type for pigeon. When they hype the whole hype we finish pigeon. They begin enter. I, uh, Yoruba, I see because they see my son name now Yoruba. They go learn small Yoruba. Begin the hype. They go say, say that money where they my pocket. I must spend that finish. All of you where they watch me today. Any money where they your pocket, you must buy star finish today. Man, not turn me. Where I go hype when I reach today. When I go pawn the whole month. Baby, don't be angry. Don't be angry. This musician work. They pay some time too. That's how you sing, sing, sing. Before you know, they don't see another person. Don't come buy stars now. And five hundred and thirty stars. Olufemi Abolunri. Abolone means somebody that works with God. In fact, this one is working with God. Olufemi, God loves me. Abolone, working with God. Someone with God love and he they work with God. God bless you, God bless you. Better person, Olufemi Abolone. But right now, omnipotent to send 200 stars. Chai, 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 chai. Big shout out, biggest shout out ever to the top star contributors. Reggie, Reggie Baby has bought 6,500 stars. Reggie Baby, Reggie. Reggie baby, in fact, today we are registering for Reggie baby. 6,500 stars. I feel like he's laughing. Oh, no, eh? <laughs> Let her laugh. Hey. Reggie baby. Regimented. Nurse Reggie baby. Ah, you, you go to hospital, you see this kind of nurse. See, go, they hungry you. You never go to the kind of hospital before. When you see their nurse, you will begin well. Because they'll say, hey, we are going to admit you for two days, sir. So, no, it's your lord, if you get the kind nurse where you go see, like this kind girl, and I imagine she be nurse. The sick for your body go double. You never heard that song before. Nice no, well, next nurse. Time you're sick. Next time you're sick. You where they abandon me. No, no, be you. Are going, the you one way. you always looking for me. I go call the Rena. See, I come and even gist with me. Rena go up. Ah, this one. Now nah, nurse Reggie baby. Anytime I, I don't even want to be sick again. Eh? Someone said bring her live on IG so that when I go feel beggar and money, now me this, now me the musician. Eh? That's how one guy saw me spraying the musician. The next thing he said, with me, begin downloading family problem, give me. So now, no need. Not Reggie, baby, finish today. She don't, she don't knock the whole job. 
and Okafo sent 100 stars. Thank you so much. Reggie Baby, 5,000 stars at once. Total of 6,500 stars. K Boss Man, 2,000 stars. Olufemi Abulu, 530 stars. Elizabeth Abu, 310 stars. Omnipotent, 200 stars. Uh, almost somebody else don't, don't have my game. No. Somebody don't drop something. No. Chindo, Ukonu, 500 stars. When I know they let us concentrate, not just they spend us money. Now, so pastors they do now preach, they come, they come preach. Me? Topic, yes. Uh -huh. So, please, but anytime somebody comes, you have to hype them. These are your customers, don't because of nice topic, you don't neglect your customers. It's work, we came here to work. Uh -huh. So, <clears throat> that's how. Um, the other day somebody sent me a video it was actually today i can't play because i don't want you to hear the voice of the star because any of the pastor because anything i play um for you okay just leave them and see if they'll come back later okay my love so the pastor sent me a video and it's our pigeons they are refusing to come home <laughs> So, uh, like the, pa the pastor was saying that uh, modern day love, modern day marriage is based on love. That's why many marriages are folding up. That those days, marriages were not based on love. And the Bible does not say marry who you love. The Bible says love who you marry. He makes sense. The Bible does say, love who you marry, not marry who you love. But remember, the Bible was written by people who used to poo inside the bush. Always have that at the back of your mind. The Old Testament, up until the time when Christ was born, there, was, there were no toilets. The people who wrote the Bible for you used to have a shovel, according to the law, and they used to go into the bush to poo and when they were done according to the law they had to dig up and cover their poo those were the kinds of people who lived in those kinds of societies and they wrote the scriptures you need to understand that in 2022 you have a bathroom in your you have a toilet in your room right no you don't okay she mad in 2022 y'all have toilets in your room it's even it's not lawful according to the bible you cannot even have a toilet inside your camp let alone inside your bedroom but in the world we're in things have advanced now in the world the bible was written women were commodities your house and your wife had about the same value because if you passed on just as someone would inherit your house someone would inherit your wife hmm? oh yes it's even scriptural let me give you an example of david inheriting saul's wife this is bible let me give this to you second samuel chapter 12 verse 8 i gave you your master's house and his wives and the kingdom of israel and judah if that had not been enough i would have given you much more so just as david inherited saul's house he also inherited saul's wives these days if you pass on it's more likely that your wife inherits your house. Those days, someone who inherits both your house and your wife. Amen. So, now I want to tell you some personal stories. Then I hand over to Yella. Huh? My father's mother's firstborn. May his soul rest in peace. He's late now. Um... My father was telling me the story when he was about to marry his mother got in touch with some other lady in the village and they found an appropriate wife and he met her for the first time 
and I think he met her twice and then they got married. And they had a relatively happy marriage according to what they define as happiness. Do you understand? He met her twice. It was a family arranged marriage. He met her twice before they got married. And they had a relatively happy marriage. That's my uncle. Yes, but if I, you know, if you say uncle in Nigeria, they will be, they will think every, your neighbor is your uncle. So, she, he didn't marry out of love. My grandmother and one of her friends found somebody for him. And till he died, she was with him. They had a, a relatively good marriage. Now, those who marry out of love, the guy was saying a lot of marriages these days abroad based on love or breakup. I, I think he quoted a figure of 70%. You need to understand that the society today, you cannot entirely blame it on Generation Z. Yes, they have a lot to blame. They have a lot of the blame. No, they have a lot of the blame. When they say a lot of marriages now are folding up, Mm -hmm. It's now that us are starting, like my generation is starting to get married now. Mm -hmm. The oldest person in Generation Z is probably like how old? 25? Maybe 30. Mm -mm. No, 30 is not in my generation. Okay, 25. They're about, so we're just starting to get married. So the marriages that are folding up isn't us. It's okay, it's ours. Exactly yes, okay, okay, okay. You are making sense. Uh, okay, it's our set. The marriages are folding yes. up. <laughs> yes. Now, you need to understand that those days, a woman went into a marriage knowing she was the man's property. She knew. I was watching, um, uh, what's that comedian with the mustache that preaches a bit sometimes? Steve, I think Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, God bless you. Okay. Now, Steve Harvey was saying that a flea, naturally inborn, can leap, I think, four feet. But when you put a flea in a jar, it cannot leap beyond the ceiling of the jar. So by the time he leaps the first time I hit his head on the jar, mm -hmm. and leaps the second, third time I hit his head on the jar, I'll make sure it doesn't jump to the top of the jar so a flea that is inborn with the ability to jump four feet because it's in a jar restricts its jumping to maybe three or four inches why are you yawning so um what steve harvey said was as the children of the fleas grow up and they see that their parents cannot jump more than four feet even though they are naturally born Sorry, more than four inches. Even though they are not, they have the ability to jump four feet, they just jump four inches. So, when you are born into a world where your mother was bought like a commodity and owned like a commodity, and you are taught that that's the that's what makes marriage, uh, that's the essence of marriage. What do you? think you are going to do it's what you believe in you're going to start trying to make it worth your while you're going to start trying to marry for money as a woman those days you couldn't even marry for money they will arrange it for you families some families have no value for money i'm going to take you and i'm going to look for someone who probably shares my ideologies or whose son i like or whose friend i can even marry off to my friend you know mm -hmm. so who is that leave steve please the essence is what we're talking about steve. steve is very nice uh sometimes sometimes he goes off point but very often um he uh he's on point so let's deal with what we're dealing with because this is a sociological issue we, we shouldn't deal with it with kids gloves uh many people are going to listen to the pastor and say you know what i'm going to marry and i'm not going to marry for love the problem is not about love the problem is what you want in a marriage you grew up watching oimbo people's movies the most dangerous thing the most that's why in china for instance they don't have global facebook they have their own Facebook. They try to promote their culture. The more you watch Oimbo, 
I, I'm going to say this, yeah. Many people, you grew up watching, what did you watch growing up? Disney Channel. Disney Channel. What moral values does Disney Channel um, propagate? American, Western moral, mor uh, uh, moral values. I was watching something as a kid, and I remember a guy was telling a story, you know, about how his dog ran into the house and was able to avoid something but his father couldn't and the commentator was like wow you have a very smart dog and a very stupid dad and i was like eh do you understand it's stuff you can watch on i'm sure disney can say something like that what do you think but they can do it in africa magic as well no you can't do it in africa they magic they'll just, they just portray the child as a rude kid ah uh, you tell your father you are stupid oh the guy said it to his father no as in the commentator for instance you are telling me a story so my dog ran in and was able to miss the the door and my father ran in and bumped into the door and i'm like oh wow your dog's very smart but your dad's quite stupid and everybody laughed okay, so ha, the ha, ha. Of the no kid. the commentator so it was like the commentator it was like you know all those shows where there's a commentator and the kids are talking mm -hmm. you know and they're and they're running the story by the commentator and the commentator okay, was okay. was and the commentator was like you know and everybody had a good laugh in nigeria you tell somebody that your dog is smarter than your father they will close down that radio station that tv station you don't believe try it try it just call as a presenter just make sure they hear you you know, but I wouldn't know I was raised on Disney, so. that's the problem. You were raised on Disney. You guys don't get it, but it's actually a problem. Now, I'm not saying that African values are hundred percent, but Disney values. Let me tell you why the Disney values are a problem, because Nigeria does not live in a society that Disney values can work in. I'll give you an example. In Nigeria, you walk out of a marriage, you are not going to get half of the house. You are definitely not going to get the house unless your name is on the deed. You are going to walk out of a marriage. You'll be lucky if you got rent. In Nigeria, you are divorcing your husband. He will now give you a house. Do you understand? So you grew up with a mentality that doesn't fit into the, the construct of Africa. So you start making demands and your husband is not going to have it. Your husband, You think your husband's father... Let's say if your husband wants to do a boy and share the house with you, his father will not agree. His mother will not agree. You'll be lucky if you went with the kids. Let's say, you. I know someone that left the marriage, she could not even take her property. And that's Africa. But that's not the values Disney exudes. So the problem is the Western media. It's a problem. I'm not saying Africa is right. Africa too we have issues we need a balance but you see the western media creates another so children grow up with a western um ideology of love what you think love is okay okay so what do you think love is in nigeria because okay wait, at the end of the day yeah what i see love to be in nigeria it doesn't even look like there is love it's just send me your answer and i'll shake bonbon for you that's just it now now you need to understand that that might not be love but, but in nigeria love just looks monetary yes but also abroad uh, love means uh, there's certain things that abroad people do that for instance they have romance they have what oimbo people describe as romance why are you saying what they describe okay describe your own as romance I don't Mommy know. Food for you. Mm -hmm. Someone said Nigerians don't know how to love. We don't. You leave okay, your husband. Me, okay, for, okay. Western Western people taught me their own ideology of love. Mm. Right? Teach me own. Because you are you you see the Western one seems to be what you like. Yes, African men can be a bit Why? stiff. Why is it the one? Hold that on, I'm African sure. men can be a bit stiff. But you see what you don't copy from the Western world. You live in Nigeria now. Here's my problem, and this is this is my problem now. I'm gonna break it down to you. Mm -hmm. She wants me to love her like the Oimbo man loves his woman, right? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and it's romantic like the Oyimbo man is romantic, yes. right? Please, is anybody married to an Oyimbo man here? Do Oyimbo man pay 100% of the bills? Hold on, hold on. You want me to spend my money on you like a Nigerian man? Do you know? Hold on, eh? I'll give you South Africa as a construct. I bought a girl a drink in South Africa and she mm. followed me home. And I asked her why. She said that men don't buy drinks here. That in fact, now you go buy a drink for the man. We go carry you go house. So when she saw somebody buy her a drink, mm. she was like, this is a keeper. No matter what Nigerian man they do for a babe. South African man, nobody agree. Look at her. Everybody say, so you see, the problem is you want what you want to cherry pick the oimbo mm -hmm. do you understand you want to cherry pick the oimbo which is good but are you ready now the nigerian man please don't listen to him more i did not necessarily say i want oimbo love <laughs> That's, I, didn't, I didn't say that to <laughs> She, she she understand? Disney. No, no, no. She wants <laughs> Disney love. Stop! I don't want Disney. But love. she wants <laughs> Obikubana spray money. She wants Pastor Toby standing and rolling those dollar bills like this, and dollar bills are falling. Oimbo man is not going to do that for you. Let me give you an example. Elon Musk's father said Elon Musk is stingy. Why is someone telling me, okay, going on dates abroad is a split bill? I'm talking yes. about romance. Why are you guys talking about money? Can you see? Oh, you no. know, even, who said I mind splitting the bill? You see, no, uh, I understand where you're coming from, but you need to <laughs> connect this with them. Here's my problem here. Nigerian women, ni human beings in general, <laughs> we always want the best of both worlds. A, an average Nigerian man will buy you a car. Mm -hmm. And my wife has never since my wife married me she has never bought phone before that she's counting her money all she has to do is moan near me enough that her phone is worrying her and i'll get her a new phone <laughs> do you understand like the last phone i got her i didn't have a plan to get her a phone she already had a new phone but she wanted a second phone oh my phone oh my phone oh my phone before you knew it i went to buy her a brand new phone the latest iphone 13. okay so all this time is love right no what i'm trying to tell you is you are not going to get that abroad no man is no oimbo man is going to do you guys are going to sit down you're going to split, split the holidays you're going to you're going to split the kitchen work now now listen hold on hold on hold on a nigerian woman that i'm buying car for i'm buying a phone for okay. i'm buying business class ticket for now wants me to join her and wash dishes is that not madness the Oimbo man is the two of you is share that salary together. You divide it in the middle like this. Your ticket money will be there, your rent will be there. But um you so so you will now say I'm not romantic. One name okay, iPhone yeah. 13 is romance, okay. business class mm -hmm. ticket is romance. Can I tell you car something? is romance? Can I tell you something? Every relationship is actually not the same. You're seeing it like it's every Oimbo relationship that is like it's not I mean, 90 percent of okay, Oimbo now relationships. Wait, good. Now you and mommy's relationship is one of the few that isn't technically Nigerian because you're saying okay, all she has to do is moan, hey, I want a new phone and then get her new phone. Well, both of you do split bills. Mommy isn't a housewife. Yes, now. Exactly. Oh, you see, you see, now what I'm trying to say is, I just gave an example. Hi. Hi. Um, taste buds shares bills. The average Nigerian woman will not share any bill with you. Them. Till tomorrow. You are dead. <laughs> now, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Till tomorrow. And they are never going, even your mom does not share bills with me 50-50. They will not share. Your mom tries that she will show women will not share. But do you know wait, we had a woman maybe, here maybe live the other in day my, now. My head. Maybe it's in my head. But women to me, women who do not volunteer to share, I don't feel like you fully love that man. I don't know why. Why would you just want to be taken at it? And whether you like it or not, that it's still the same thing. Nigerians don't know how to love. Don't tell me about oh Western people and trying to collect their own love. That is the only love. I'm being real with like we don't know what love we just no. know it can be finished. You can it, hey, you watch your words, know. guys. Words, words, you words. I'm having serious issues with my um algorithm. He can pick anything. <laughs> so just just use love 
uh, coming together, please be very careful with your words. I'm struggling with my algorithm right now. I can even yank Yousef off right now or over words. So guys, pick your words. You guys, you don't know the struggle. When you post a video, then you check it, then the video just, they just stop. So please. Now, let's deal with this. Be honest. Um, we've got Debbie here. Debbie, be very honest. Would you like a man to take care of you? I like soft lines. I mean, you like soft lines? Wait course. now. Wait <laughs> now. No, but my own soft life is not that. Like, I have my own money, right? Mm -hmm. But I do like when my man surprises me, like, baby, okay, I got you this. Let's go. Please. Now, hold on. In yeah. Germany, mm -hmm. in Germany like, where you live, how many men surprise their women like that? No, they do. They do. Can you compare it to Nigeria? See, Nigeria, there's no love in Nigeria. I was going to tell you. It's, no and it's you people that spoilt it. Because you know, we don't spoil if it. I bring no out that word, love. listen. No, of course, there's no love. There's no, everything is money, money, money. They can't even be romantic. Is, I'm everything telling you, if you, you know married me, you're saying, saying, oh, you, you like to be taken care of, like women like to be... You may not like to be taken care of. It's because you guys, let me not... Men, what I, So, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. If I married you, for instance, mm -hmm. and I don't have money, you will stay. If I loved you, like, if I love you, but if I don't love you, I'm not going to stay. That's the thing. It's about love. If I leave you, then you know that I don't love you. <laughs> You know that after you have gone after i have gone you know that i don't love you <laughs> after you have gone since i'm not know that oh true 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 we need a man's perspective here let me get a man no, in here but do men not like to be taken care of like you guys don't like to be pampered no, you, like do you know what i think here no. you guys have been like you guys they they make it sound like men are more I don't know the word to use, but you get all a man wants is you get to do this. Do you know? But I feel like it's because that's what you guys think that's all you can get. I feel like you guys remove the video like TV so we do don't get know, the audio. But you guys Steve, have his audio. Hey, bro, mute that audio. Just uh, mute the audio. Mute the audio. Mute the audio. I will be breaking if there's any noise that noise will be breaking whoever is talking awesome so we have a man Hayere, in the building we have debbie miss thickness and we have vidoma in the building i saw samaria earlier on samaria don't run anywhere i'm still coming for you so Hayere, what are your thoughts share your thoughts um uh, nothing Hayere, okay. you Cheers. don't mute your mic oh. now tv i say make you mute no be your mic Okay, can you hear me? Yes, clearly. So, what are your thoughts? Before the ladies talk, let me hear another man. Don't you want to hear, man? Is it about the, um, how important is love in marriage? Yes, no, and the definition of love. Of course, there is love in Nigeria. What kind of person is that? Which kind of love? Of course, there is love in Nigeria. What is the definition because, of love? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's look at this. I live in, in the Western world, right? I, I, I believe you live in the Western world too. Mm. Okay. What, what, how is the divorce rate in the Western world and divorce rate in Nigeria? No, in Nigeria, it's because they don't get choice. They cannot move on. Okay. That's been abroad, you can say peace out and you are fine. Okay. That's the difference. Okay, right. So, what, for me, what I believe in, in marriage <laughs> is about this, uh, this uh, issue of... Uh, romance this what i believe marriage is duty you are called to a duty do you understand so sometimes when we we, we invest too much emotions in marriage it's all about duty what are you bringing to make this marriage work as a man because as a man you have to provide for your family you have to be responsible you have to be you have, you have to do your duty you have to protect and save your family. Sir, can I ask that you is a question? What, can I ask you a question? Yes. Where do they have to be Go ahead. Is this what is your definition of being responsible and providing for your family? What's your definition of that? Okay. It probably means okay. monetary. How do you provide for your family? You make sure the, 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 
if you are if you rent an apartment or you 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 own a house or you go to work, whatever bills that need to be paid, the bills the bills are paid. They they have food to eat. You protect them from from whatever uh, 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 external aggression that is coming. You understand? So that is what a man needs to do for his family. If so it's just money to be. There's no emotion. There's no. There's no emotional protection. There's no. There's, it's just money. You just dump. Yeah, money. That's actually why I asked him that question. What, what do you mean? Hold on. What, what when you say when you say emotion? What, what do you mean by that? No, no actually, in what the, do you mean by that? Is, you mentioned emotions. Mm -hmm. We can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I meant to ask you, actually, what do you mean by emotions? Because you're the one who brought it up. You said it's not about emotions, no, what, it's about what I'm saying is He only mentioned the monetary aspect of that's all a man has to do in a marriage. Mm -hmm. Just bring money, that's it. I'm like, so so you're not going to like tend to your partner's emotions. You're not going to be there for her like emotionally. It doesn't have to always be money, 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 money. When you, know when you say emotionally, what are you talking about? Oh, so, the fact exactly the fact that you're asking is I don't know how to even explain it's, it's, it's it somehow it's, 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 do you understand mysticness the mysticness I think his opinion is this I think his opinion is this as long as he's making sure that the monetary aspect of um the need that is expected let's, of him let's let's be let's be real here let's be real here let's be real here aspect of him being in the relationship i think that's what he's trying to communicate and let me just say this uh, most nigerian men sorry i haven't been with all the nigerian men but i can <laughs> <laughs> no 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 hold on just tell us about the 400 you've been with that's enough <laughs> see this this uh, western this western hold on sorry this okay. Western notion of this, this new notion of oh, uh, 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 I need I need him to pick me up to give me hundred kisses. All these are just by the way. A man can do all those things if a if a, if a want a man to do those things for you. Those are easy to do. Anybody yeah, can don't do that. Talk that one depends on the wife where you marry you. Don't talk that one. What? Anybody can do that. Do you understand? You pick... What do you mean by you no. can pick what? Yes, I think it's high time I start thinking that um, the responsibility of the marriage is not just monetary to get, it's not just, I know that it's crazy if I don't get money, if I don't get money, which is I mean, daddy, listen to the lyrics of Nigerian male artists. Right. First of all, just listen to the lyrics of Nigerian male artists. I said, first of all, you guys should listen to the lyrics of Nigerian male artists. Have you guys listened to Electricity? Or what is it called by Fields and Davido? Love is sweet, but first get the mula. Because what? It's a mentality of men. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, please. One thing people say to Nigerian male artists, See, when we are when, when I was in Nigeria, when I was I, of course I I I wasn't born here. You can tell from how, how I speak. So when I was in Nigeria, when we used to watch American movies, we say, Oh, oh we don't know how to love. Oh, Nigeria don't know how to love. <laughs> when you come here, when you come abroad, you will know that it's not like that. All those that what they portray in movies. Do you understand? Here, here in Canada, here, I, I, I know about even in America. If you have no money, nothing for you. No guy will even look your face. If you have no money, if you have no money, no guy will look your face. They will. Look, will have you not seen some videos? Some of them are actors, but some of them are real, like <laughs> gold digger, like gold diggers. You see, you see, you take a high. He will not even talk to you. But when she sees your car, say hey, hey how are you doing? Because you know dress well, sir. These people are still getting. You know, how do you how do you dress well? Is it not with maybe money that you dress well? Not, not like guys on dread. Now tell me what you are doing in Canada that I know. That is not the issue. Whether I dread or not dread. That is not the issue. I'm a married man. I'm a married man. I don't even I don't even talk to girls outside. Do you understand? So forget about whether I get dread or not. That is not the issue. But what I'm telling you now is that a man. A man needs to be financially sound to say, oh, I can take care of my family. It's a duty you have to do. 
It's not about, oh, uh, you pick right. your wife up, you kiss your wife, you do this. Or that. Uh, right. Love, is a, love right. is an action word. It's a verb. To so love someone is a verb. It's an action word. When you say a man has to money does not mean I don't agree with you. Both parties need to be financially ready before they engage in relationship or marriage. See, let me tell you something. A man, a man, a man, hold on, sorry, a man, right? A man that if you are here now. A man, a man, a man can have a million a man can have a million dollars in his account, right? A man right to spend seven hundred K for his family, for his wife, for his wife's people. Can a woman do that? A woman can, but few women, most men, can do that. Spend the money on his wife and his and her people. But talk, Wait, I don't understand. a man, right? A man, mm -hmm. huh? a man can have money in the family. Everything will be okay. Let the man carry the load. So far, he has the money. He's able to do that. Everything will, be, will work fine. But immediately, the woman is one carrying the load. Oh, you this useless man. Yes, yes, man. Every night they come with me. You not go to what you're made to do. So let me be real. A man needs money. Every woman that, that can, there's a lot of women that are providers, like in marriages, and you won't know they are the one providing because they, they make their men look like they are the ones providing. Why would they Can I say something? Can I say something? Can I say something? If it's not, if, 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 if that is not the norm. Can I say something? If that was the norm, if that was the norm, they would, they would not want to make the man look like he's the provider. Can I say if something? The is that the man has to be the provider. That is the default. Can I say something now? Yeah, that is the default. Okay, you see this thing that you said about what you called um but would the woman even look your way if you don't have if you don't have money to provide that oh she would look at you like oh every night she just come back so 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 and this and that I mean that's how the the women behave. Yeah. That goes for Nigeria too, right? So so that goes for Nigeria as well. That's how the women in Nigeria behave. Everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay, now my stance was what? There isn't or there is, isn't enough love in where? Nigeria. Nigeria. Love comes from where? Both man and woman, right? If that's how the women behave because a man doesn't have money, then there is no love. That is false. There is no love. That is why I told you this issue of love, love in marriage. Once you once you once you enter marriage, for me or in, in me. I, I, me and the friends came, to, uh, came to each other, uh, came to know each other because of the church thing. Though I have known him from broadcasting for a long time, but the church, it was the church thing that brought us together. Do you understand? So for me, for me personally, what matters in what matters in, in marriage, for me in the Christian in the Christian uh, 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 perspective, is the duty. Do you understand? Is the duty? Please, if you say love, 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 love. If you say love, 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 of course you can see a girl. If you say love, if if you see if you want to define love, it's a very it's a very small thing that that differentiates love from infatuation. See but, that. Let me cut you short. I need you to understand. Okay, guys. Um, one more minute so I can bring another set. One more minute, video ma. So you have one minute so I can bring another set. Everybody else here wants okay. to talk. There is two difference between love and lust. Don't confuse love to lust. That is why I just told you, when it comes to love and lust, when it comes to love and lust, like a lot of men, a lot of men, a lot of men, a lot of men marry the women that they desire. Most men marry the women that they desire. Do you understand? So when you marry one that you desire, they wait, for me, when you are into that marriage, it's not just about desire, about desire. It's not the duty to perform as a man. That, that is what kills the marriage because you have to look at marriage as something that is, is, is for me in my church, marriage is, is, is an institution. You have to you have to you have to be dutiful to make it work. Sorry, can I ask you a question? Desire in what way? Uh, uh, do you mean uh, by uh, do you mean uh, admire the woman that they like? They talk to the woman. Is that is what I mean? Desire. So you mean physical men, attraction? Men, physical attraction. Yes. Yes. That is what most men see in women. It's and that's what leads them to marriage. A lot of it's not, most men don't, don't see girls as they asking, "Oh, what does she do for a living?" No, men don't. Men don't think like that. Men so you don't fall in love with. Like I want to know. Get to know her. 
So you like her the way you like a painting and want to keep it in your house? That is not what I'm saying. That is what you, what you are saying. All right, guys. All right, guys. <laughs> Lovely having you. Lovely having you. Big shout out. Big shout out to Miss Thickness. Big shout out to Vidoma. And big shout out to Hayere. Thank you, Debbie. Thank Debbie, still you. stay around. Yeah. I'll bring you guys back in a moment. I want to round this off in exactly 15 minutes. Um, but I want you guys to know that I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I always love your perspectives. Please buy stars on my Facebook channel. I need to hype the star buyers. Um, right now, Buki Unwachuku just bought 500 stars. Uh, Evan Daniel uh, bought 75 stars. Nene Ba, 200 stars. Oops, say, oh, goodness. I almost lost the Facebook live. Oh, and when it happens, it turn, it flips upside down and you're going to end the video like this. Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, top star senders. Reggie Baby, 6,500 stars. K Boss Man, 2,000 stars. Buki Nwachuku, I did get that. Shout out to you, Buki Nwachuku, 500 stars. Chido Okonu, 500 stars. Elizabeth Abu, 310 stars. Nene. Exactly. Ba, 200 stars. Omnipotent, 200 stars. <laughs> Tina, 200 stars. Uduak Essien, 100 stars. Anne Okafor, 100 stars. Evangelist Daniel Collins, 75 stars. Esman D, 50 stars. And Stephen Odumuiwa, uh, 50 stars. Thank you guys so much. I absolutely appreciate you guys. You guys are doing awesome um don't worry the video is okay it just looks like this. this is one of the issues facebook has so i'm gonna try to bring in some more people here i'm still expecting your stars please send me stars my top star buyers my top star buyer for today still remains reggie baby nurse reggie baby awesome girl beautiful and intelligent at the same time so i'm trying to bring a certain uh um another set of people on the live we're going to round this off in exactly 15 minutes. Okay, we're going to make, we're going to round this off in 15 minutes. Uh, and I want to stick to time today. Okay, so let me try and bring three more people. So we can get this to work. More people are buying me stars. God bless you. Um, all right. We have someone here, Precious Gabarin. Let me add you uh that is ibi's love haven uh Halley. let me see if i can add one more person oh uh and maybe a guy yes so all right oh wow we have three people okay we have precious we have Halley, and we have ibi's love haven so guys what is your take okay. real quick um i have someone who just bought 99 stars vivian if i got that or or dua sorry um it's not very clear i need to i need to appreciate valentin or dua big shout out to valentin or dua for buying 99 stars all right guys so what is your take over to you guys Okay, so good evening. Um, so my opinion, African context, love is like the gentleman said in the past, uh, the first set of people who came in, love is responsibility in African context. It doesn't matter if the man is romantic or not, if he's able to provide food, shelter, clothing, protection, that is love in African context. Okay, we grew up reading M and B, Mills and Boone, and all those novels and watching movies, believing okay that is interpreted to be love. So uh, we would see the average African man as not being romantic. So not being romantic is not necessarily love. Some um, gestures we, which we don't find in the African man does not um, qualify does not mean that the man does not love. 
But in the African context, even if the your mother brings a wife for you from the village and you're able to shelter, protect, defend the woman and provide. So it, it is love. So um, these days that um, we we'll have, we we'll now have women working, working class women, and then we split bills and everything. It, it, it really doesn't uh, mean that the man is not loving. So me, for me, I believe that men are still loving in Africa. Men are still loving in Nigeria. There are still men who love. Um, if your man is not romantic enough, it doesn't mean that the man doesn't love you. It is your, your expectation of gestures or whatever from a man. You might want to use that to rate the man, but that for me is not love. A man who is able to provide for me, was able to provide food, shelter, clothing, defend me, protect me, loves me. That's it. I could worship such man. Where are you? Thank you. Where are you? Sorry, real quick. Where are you? I'm in Ghana. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Guys, I'm still expecting you to buy stars on my Facebook uh, page, Daddy Freeze. It's verified right under the video. You can see where to buy stars. Over to you, Bukola, uh, Ibis Love Haven. What is your take on the matter? Um, the first thing I love to say is love is the bedrock of any relationship and marriages. <laughs> Even between a father and a daughter, um, sibling, it's still love. You are able to tolerate each other. You are able to keep each other because you love each other. You are able to go extra miles with each other because you love each other. However, I want people to know that we are all speaking the same language here. Love is an action word. And what are those actions that love have? Protection. Provision. You are available for me emotionally. You are available for me psychologically. It's still love. And it's not about Africa, it's everywhere. Not just Nigerian contest right now, it's everywhere. Though the Oyibos will tell you that it's 50-50. We have some Oyibos who are doing 100-100. I have someone who doesn't work. All she has is a credit card, and she swipes and swipes whenever she want to travel. And that's mm -hmm. her own definition of love. So when we say love, 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 it's still an action word. Love is not in the movies. Let's forget about what we see in the movies. Love is not movies. Love is not in drama. So whatever, when we say love is an action word, it's not justice. This is not going to sustain your own. Romances, I used to be very, this, I love romance a lot. But, you know, growing up, reading books and understanding how to keep a marriage and how to keep a relationship. And after my certification, I understood that love is not just kisses. Yeah. You're not going to kiss forever. Yeah. Let me kiss for protection. Yeah. If you're not available for me psychologically, you don't love me. Yeah. If you're not available for me emotionally, you don't love me. Yeah. If you cannot protect me, you don't love me. If you cannot provide for me, you don't love me. That's it. That's it. It's an action word, and those those are the actions in 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 those are the actions in love. When we say love is an action word, and love is a verb, that's what we mean by love. Is yeah, a verb. yeah, that's what that's the other it. man. That was what the other man was trying to explain. Like, that is the duty is an action word. Like so for men. Men are very men are attracted to what they see physically, you know, and their duty is for them to love. Like what God said, the man is to love, why the woman is to respect. Sorry, yeah. someone asking here. I, I mentioned he's available for you emotionally. When a man is available for you emotionally, he's still love. Give it tells. It's still love. It's part of love. It's love. A man who gives you all the kisses and gives you all the romance support, and I cannot lean on you, you cannot protect me, you can provide me, yeah. you're not available for me psychologically, you drive me crazy all the time because you keep me. <laughs> if he doesn't open the car door, so this will count as name. romance, right? That this will count as name. romance, probably opening the car door, opening the door ahead of us, um, helping you in the kitchen and doing laundry with you and all of that. If your man doesn't do it, what he provides, keeps the home, protects, and defends you, he loves you. Period. He doesn't know how to open door. He doesn't know how to open door. As a matter of fact, I keep the communication going in the house because he's used to being by himself. So when he comes back, I put that, I put in an action but to let him know that you are back home. 
We yeah. need to, you need to tap yeah. my. You need to do this. You need to do that. You, you don't know my... how to open doors, <laughs> but he can give me whatever. <laughs> what I don't, what what he cannot afford, I cannot tell him. Once I tell him, he gets it. That's so it. I afford it, I don't tell him, and that is love. All right, all right. I think, right. Love just all right. All right. All right. We have one more person here. We have one more person here, and we're rounding off in five minutes. We have one more person. The lady in white hiding. Raise your head and tell us what you think. I want to bring Samaria, so I'm going to remove one person here. Lady, tell us. Let me hear from you. Um, they've said everything I wanted to say because I believe that love is an action. I believe that men should love their wives, and the woman should respect the man. That's what I believe. So the man provides, the man protects his woman. And the, it's the woman's duty to respect the man as long as he provides and he loves her. Okay, what is your name? My name is Precious. All right, Precious. Thank you so much. Um, you've made so much sense. Um, Yella is going to ask you a question. Um, so go ahead, okay. ask the question. Um, oh, but go she on, can't go on. answer me now. I'll bring her back um the man who was on here previously discussing his idea of love and duty and all of that do you second that do you agree with him that's what i want to ask absolutely wasn't explicit enough i must let you know i don't think he was explicit uh, enough but that question was particularly for that girl who was like my dad just because okay. oh, okay. it was sounding exactly like what he was saying because everything he was saying to me is just looking like you're just going to do all these things and i just feel like the woman is going to respect you she's going to appreciate it but because i respect something you're doing for me or, or i appreciate you for it doesn't mean i love you i don't know you, you know the man said something he said something he's making it look like duty, duty. which, which just... i took a word from when you see a lady when mm -hmm. a man sees a lady and we say this thing we say love at first sight you can't tell if a man loves you. A man simply admires you. He was talking about desires. Exactly. A man simply I desires you love. until the point where the man begins to carry out responsibilities and acts responsible. That is when you can actually say... Oh, wow. This mentality. Once I'm able to carry out my duties as a man, I'm showing you love. I might not be romantic. I think I, I, think I understand him from that point of view. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right. Very, very awesome. Um, mm. I saw Alibaba in here. Egbon, are you available? Yeah. Let me send him a, a request and see if he can join. And if not, I'll bring Samaria and then we end the live. Uh, Samaria, are you there? Huh? Egbon? Oh. Ali no no saying don't join you. Hey. <laughs> Your video is like this. <laughs> and bomb you. Looking handsome. Do you know Ali is older than me? Looks younger than me. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hey. Ali, oh. Ali don't come out. Oh. He wasn't prepared for me. Hey, looking so fresh. Ali, bad. you are looking very fresh, you. You can't be like my junior brother. Hey! I don't know. I was taking a Zoom class, so I have to very quick and, and uh, jump in here. Thanks for, thanks for adding me, please. Madam, how are you? I'm still expecting to get some food. I'll place another very soon. I know what I want. Now the picking be this, so. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so quickly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I had, I was invited to uh, Deeper Life uh, Church some, some, I think two years ago before COVID, and I was invited to come talk to men there about love, relationship, and um, in the new age. I need you to know that a lot of the men who were in deeper life and are in this modern age are also going through a realignment hmm. because the belief that a lot of people had before is changed now you will also agree with me that even 
raising children back in the days are different from how children are raised now. And why am I saying all of this? It mm. is that every man you encounter is a product of upbringing, Thank you. environment, education, exposure, experience, occupation, and of course, culture. Then you have the ultimate of it, religion. The, all of these elements, the way I experience them, would be different from how somebody else experienced them. And I'll give you an example. I have a guy one time, and the neighbor, it was in uh, the four flats, the neighbor upstairs bought his wife's bouquet of flowers. I mean, like three people brought the flowers on Valentine's Day and dropped it. And the woman was screaming with a cake and everything. And she was screaming. And she likes this wine. There's this wine that the body is rough. And the bottle is very shape, one ugly shape like this. They said it was whether Reverend Fathers that made it or so. And she liked that wine. The body had like chest coats, you know. And he bought two bottles of it. And she hit the roof. She was like, Yay. I know the wine. She was very happy. And it was on Valentine's Day. And then... The neighbor downstairs bought his wife a washing machine. Washing machine. And brought the washing machine and gave to her. And so, the, in the evening, when the guys sat down outside and were gisting, and I think it was like four or five days later, they now saw the flowers that had died right? by the dustbin. And the man said, these flowers that you bought, you don't finish you. And the guy said, yes. He said, hey, but it's because I loved my wife. And that is how I can show. So his exposure has made him feel like buying the wife flowers will show that he loves her. But you see, this other guy feels like buying her a washing machine and saving her from manually washing clothes would also hmm. show her that I love her. You see, the expression of love differs from everybody's upbringing. Expression of love also differs with your religion. If you are a Christian, your upbringing will be that when you marry one wife, you can't marry another one. But the upbringing of a man who has Islamic foundation is that as long as you can take care of two, three, four, you can take them in. You see, the, the, see a, a lot of people need to understand. So, you, you see, Akon is in America. Akon has more than two, three wives. But he's in America. But it is because he has proven to them that he's a cultural man. And this is something that his culture permits. The other thing that I need to say is that some people's exposure is something that stands between them and expressing love like you expect it to be done. Yeah. I had a woman one time call me and said, the reason she and her husband broke up is that he never eats food that is more than one day. You must cook his food every day. <laughs> and she walks, oh, oh, maybe you've not met those kind of There are men like that. They, they, she, she doesn't, she doesn't, and, and they started having this issue because she was working in uh, Pfizer. Uh, 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 they are up. Oh. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Instagram, no. <laughs> Please come back. <laughs> it's rolling. Hey. Instagram knows how to fall hand. Oh. <laughs> Some guy, I remember one guy in my school. He bought uh, flowers for one village Igbo girl, Njideka. I can never forget the girl's name, Njideka. Now, so my guy Wasiu, Wasiu go buy flower for Njideka. Njideka say, "What do you want? Make I make you salad and make I cook you soup." No, she just ask her. Say, "What do you want with the flower? Make I make salad and make I cook soup." <laughs> she just ask her straight. Say, "Papa, waiting." My husband is the washing machine type. He has never bought me flowers in 17 years. <laughs> um, and you know, anyone that comes into my home is back. Ali is back. I think 
Now nah, network. Everybody wants to hear I need today. Me and they buy flour. You not, not just too plenty like that. Uh -huh. We they enjoy you. So, no, no, no. So, what happened is that I was using the iPad and uh, I didn't know that the power was on, so I had to switch okay. to a smaller phone. Okay. Okay. So, now, you see, so the point I'm trying to make is that every relationship is different and every relationship you show love by different things. Maybe the amount of sacrifice you want to make, maybe the, uh, the distance you are ready to go. There's someone who refused to marry somebody because the person was a pilot. And she said her love nourished like that. She cannot take it that the husband is flying and her mind is always like, is he coming back home? Will he land? And there are people who marry sailors that or, or sailors who travel and you don't see, get to see your husband for six, seven months, eight months, and then he comes back after that. But there are people who, like my wife, well, Mary, if I if I go to Abuja to go and do a show, I must come back the next day. But there are some women who can let husband travel. Six months, seven months. In fact, there are people who now live in Canada and for two, three years, the wife has not come back and they travel to go meet them, spend like one month and come back. And then for the whole year, they are always talking and then maybe another six months or so, you travel again. So, but there are people who cannot yeah, Stay I cannot away. handle it. Now, I cannot. Okay, now there are also people who, buy, the way they show love is that if they buy a material, they and the wife must wear and co. So mm. everybody has a, you have your expression of love differs from one point to the other. But you see, the reason I wrote it in the, I wrote it uh, in my comment here before I came on, and I said that love is the deposit you have. So that your marriage can draw on it. Hmm. Marriage, your marriage then draws on the love that you have. And that love, you then build it together. So if one person is adding more to the deposit and the other person is withdrawing from the deposit, you will then have a point where there's a, def there's a deficit. So clearly, please, let's not use how one person expresses love to another to judge how we must express love. Look, let me tell you, somebody may be opening car door for the wife and as impregnated secretary. Somebody open car door for me. So it is not about it is not about opening car door. Somebody may even be giving the wife a check of one million naira every month for herself. And you will then find out that the partner that he has in the office is working with is a gay partner that he's rooting with. Oh, we know many of them. So, so it, so, so it is not it is not about how this person is expressing love. People can express love in different ways. But you see, the ultimate purpose is let the love then be strong enough to sustain the relationship. By the way, I'll give you this example now and then I'll, I'll let others have their take. So in Dolphin Estates, I did the wedding. I did this wedding in 1992. 1992, I did the wedding. 1995, the marriage had broken up. What happened? They went for an event. There's a place they used to call Mobi Pegasus in Apapa. Mobi Pegasus was an event center, so they had an event there. And this woman went there, and while they were there, party, this man now saw, and the story has, story has reached this woman that that lady was his girlfriend when they were in Yabatek. And the lady looks like she still has a crush on him. So when the guy was taking pictures with some other Yabatek people, some other old girls of Yabatek, I said, oh, let's join. Then it turns out that the girl now stood by him to take the picture. They finished taking the picture. He went back to uh, General Ike Wachiku was the chairman of the event. She went back. He went back to go and sit down on his chair, and the woman slapped him. Shall At the event, slapped him dead on the face. So the man was like, well, he said, hey, and they've told me before that you and her still have something. You want to continue. So you want to take pictures. He said, oh, what's today? You were all students taking pictures. What, what is wrong with you? Well, guess what? He left that Mogdi Pegasus. Did not go home. First week, second week, third week, fourth week, one year, two years, three years, never went home. And he married that girl. That he slapped him because of. The 
woman now started begging other people to go and beg him that it was out of jealousy and you see when your love becomes too strong sometimes the deficit comes from jealousy sometimes the deficit comes from you not doing anything sometimes the deficit comes from you not being hard working so that the man is the one who's taking care of everything sometimes the deficit comes from you not even knowing to be supportive but you see once all of those begin to creep in even the love you had in the beginning will begin to erode bit by bit if your own is that your friends and gossip is what you believe more than the truth gradually it erodes the same love that you had from the beginning but so the love you had from the beginning then becomes a yardstick for you to know how far away you are from the original love so i will say i will say and, and so that other people can contribute i will say that the way we love and the way we show love to one another will differ greatly I have I have a friend who says he's never had a joint account. They've been married for 32 years. He's never had a joint account with his wife. But the wife does not lack anything. And another person told me that the reason he is doing well is because he and his wife have joint accounts. But their marriage packed up after four years. So joint accounts didn't keep the marriage together. So what is good for the goose may not be good for the ganda. May not be good for the ganda. Um, Alibaba, 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 I want to ask you a question. Now, can we define love and romance? That's all. Because I can see a lot of people are asking, how do, what, do we, what do we call romance? Because their generation yeah. is Netflix and Disney that defines love for them. Okay, okay, no, okay. You see, you don't even, I mean, like I said, you see, <laughs> let me tell you, like, like I said, public display of affection is romance. Hmm. Putting your hand around her waist, uh, or oh, uh, giving her a call every every time she calls, you take her call. <laughs> is is romance? Let me let me explain. If she calls anytime your phone rings, oh, it's my wife. Oh, oh, hi, Dave. How are you? I'll talk to you later. I will say, but if you are in front of your ogre that employed you and the man is telling you, why has this thing not been delivered? I told you you are supposed to deliver this thing since last week. You guys are working on it and then your phone rings. You tell your guy, oh, sorry, sir, it's my wife. You will lose your job. <laughs> You will lose your job. And so if you then say you will not take that call at that time because you are in front of a guy, when you finish, you will call madam. Then you go back and you call her. She say, why did I call you that you cannot take your call? So there's different things. There are different things. I'll, I'll, still, I'll still explain another thing. It's that you probably call, call that? him when he is at the checkpoint and police are looking through to see whether somebody is driving and taking a call. And he wants to drive past the police checkpoint before he takes the call then he drives past and then picks the call and you're upset why did you not pick the call at the time that that i called you see romance is different so how you look at your wife how you touch her how you the name that you give to her but you see all of these differ from person to person if i'm driving home and i buy i like i know my wife likes ice cream or yogurt i stop by and buy that yogurt and take to her it is not caring that's romantic mm. but you see and denying the person something also means that it is romantic for instance if your wife says buy me ice cream and you say no 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 you told me you're going to come down from this 120 kg to 85. it's romantic, it's romantic. Let me give let me give you an example of uh, this. so we went to see Indio Kereke one time and Indio Kereke said there was one thing a man did for the wife and the wife said it showed that the man cared about her more than any other person. All the friends would come there and eat, but when the man came there and saw her cooking that day, when he went home, he went and bought. Then this guy just came out a risco bumpet. It's a fire, fire extinguisher. He bought four and put in different parts of the kitchen. And the girl was like, what's this for? He said, you cook a lot. You need to have this around here just in case anything happens. It didn't make sense to her. She was like, well, is somebody going to come and put this thing over there? One day, they were frying some things, she and Rosemary, and the, the, uh, the oil 
that was already ready for frying things poured on the gas and the thing went up in flames the person that was next to her grabbed this Erisco bumper and put the fire out it occurred to her that all the people that have been coming and eating none of them thought about it that there could be a fire incident anytime you see, everything that you do in a relationship that is positive is romantic. Everything you do in a relationship that is positive is romantic. Everything you do. If it is that you go, you call somebody and say, ah, uh, I'm traveling, you know, my wife is going to be alone. Every now and then, please pop in and see her. It is not you that is going to see her. But the fact that you told your neighbor that, look, oh, I'm traveling, every once in a while, please check in on my wife. That's romantic. Because that's when people mm. salary. So there are different things, there are different things. And your, your upbringing, your, your education, your exposure, your culture, your religion, the kind of work that you do also shows whether you are romantic or not. Now, if, for instance, I am I'm, I'm Catholic, my wife is Anglican, and she goes to her church, and every once in a while, I post my Anglican church and attend her Catholic church. For you, it may be that, that what, what is it? Is it not church? No. It is because I want to. I want her to feel so that people do not see that she is a single woman or she came to church today with her husband. It is, see, the, the, don't, don't let people fool you. There are some people, they'll tell you, if my husband is not, is not, uh, is not, is not coming home by, by 7 p.m., uh, it means that he's not, he's not blah, 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 blah. They will tell you all those kind of things. But you see, there are some people who actually would like for the husband to mingle with the people that will make his career grow. And the times he will mingle with the people that will make his career grow is in the evenings. I know a guy whose wife registered him at Ikoyi Club because she wanted him to be playing golf. The guy is into real estate. Guess what? Today the guy has like four blocks in Ikoyi. And the connection came from all those... Uh, What's it called? A golf club. Because he goes there, plays the golf, and this man now said, look, I have like four or five properties. I want to develop them. If you can find the people to do that. He got the people to do the development. But you see, if the wife was the type that was saying, oh, you must always stay at home. You can't go to this, you can't go to club, you can't go. But this woman registered him. Meanwhile, some other people will find it a problem if the man goes to register. So the man being registered by the woman to go play golf is romantic. It's romantic. And because what is romance is something you do to make any other person feel good. That's romance. Hmm. Anything you do that makes somebody feel good, that's romance. Hmm. If it is that you like to hang out with your guys in the evening, and then that evening you say, Yo guys, uh when I go go to the man, uh I go house. You don't think with me and my dad sit down and watch Netflix. There's this series that she likes watching. Let me go home and watch it with her. That's romantic. It doesn't have, you don't have to buy anything. Let me tell you another thing. Finally, finally I'll then go. Finally, I'll go. My friend said he walked into his bathroom one time and he noticed his wife has soaked some of her undies. And, and so the wife was waiting for the house help to finish what she was doing because she would come and wash the pants in her bathroom in the bathtub, wash them and hang them in the bathtub. You can't take them out because, you know, they say they can use their pants to do different things. So she must come wash them in the bathroom. And so when he got in the bathroom, he had some time to kill. He was waiting for his uh, shaving powder to dry. He washed all the pants, hung them in the hangar that she likes. So they have this thing they fold for baby napkins and all sorts, and hung all of them in the bathroom. And then was having his bath. And the wife came and said, Oh, did the girl come in while you were doing? Well, he said no, that he's the one that washed them. And she burst into a, burst into tears. <laughs> that she was that she was at a meeting, and some girls were saying, "Oh, my husband can do my own this." 
And she says, my husband will never, will never do it. And then the man had done it. And he was not privy to that. So anything you do that makes anybody feel good is romantic. Hmm. It could be just a it could be a recommendation. It could be, oh, if you tell somebody, oh, there's a, a job opening in uh, so so and so, I think you should apply. It may look like an occupational move, but the fact that you thought about the person is romantic. Hmm. Which is why some people, some people are upset. Okay. That's the reason why some people get upset when you buy you buy some things and they feel like this thing you bought or this gift that you gave somebody may sway the person your way because the gift is too romantic. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, guys. Uh, thank you so much nobody can see anything after ali is uh, is over thank he's you over so no, i want to give an example please and i want him to be here and i want people to learn so 30 so, seconds 30 seconds the summary of what you said is whatever we can give to make each other happy is romance and i want to say this in capital letter i am not in Nigeria, outside of Nigeria, by the special grace of God. Uh, I'm educated. I have little in my account. I have at least little everywhere. And I can tell you today that if I serve my husband, I still pack his plates on the table. I clean that table, I serve him, and I pack it. The generation now will tell you that, no, they can't do that for a man. But I know that that brings a lot of happiness to him, respect. That's why he defines as love. And I oh, still do it with all my heart. Hmm? And guess what? This same man, sometimes I'm sleeping. I'm on the bed. <laughs> 5 a.m., I'm smelling some good aroma coming from downstairs. What is he doing? He's cooking for me. So we enjoy marriage differently. That's what I want people to take home. And we enjoy marriage differently, and what each every one of us to find that love is so different. So that's all I want to say. Ali Baba, thank you so much for everything you. you've said. Right. Uh, and you. and another thing I just want to add, I cannot Ali is my Egbo. Um, I met him in the industry. Uh by Egbo, I mean 15 years my senior, maybe even more. Uh there's one thing i need people to know don't let anybody put you under pressure with their own definition of romance let me give you an example i can wash my wife's underwear right but i can't cook for my wife i despise cooking <laughs> nothing is going to make me enter kitchen to me washing underwear. let me give you an example i enter the bathroom and i'm trying to cl i clean my bathroom myself with the kids but I don't let them wash. I don't let my daughters scrub toilet for me. Because I don't see why they should scrub my toilet when I have hands. So what they do, they can scrub the floors, they can scrub the bathtub, they can scrub the walls. But when it comes to the toilet, I scrub my toilet myself. Now, I want to scrub the toilet and I want to scrub the sink. And my wife dropped her underwear in the sink on her way out, hoping to come back 10 minutes later. And that 10 minutes turned to 30 minutes. So am I going to remove the underwear and hang it for her to wash? Or just wash it? Do you understand? Just wash it in the sink. Then wash the sink. Scrub the sink. Scrub the toilet bowl. Do you understand? So, so I can wash my wife's underwear. with. I, can, I, I don't think there's any month that will pass and, and that I will not wash my wife's underwear at least once. Am I lying? You are very foolish. So our uh, <laughs> Or but demonstration of love is different. But I will never cook. I hate cooking. Can I say something? Thank you, Ali Baba. Can I Thank, Thank you so you. much, Ali. Yes. Okay, so like from what you said and what Ali Baba said, I'm just getting one thing. I'm getting a lot of things, but this is the summary. I just believe you should love people in their own love language, not yours. And yes. you're just saying all these ones, I can never cook. I despise cooking. I know the way you love mommy. Mm -hmm. If you knew it meant something to her, you would have learned to cook one thing. But you, yes. know, you know it doesn't mean anything to mm -hmm. her. Yes, mm -hmm. But if he did, he would have learned how to cook I would have learned, I would have struggled to learn how to cook one thing just to make her happy. 
Um, yes, that makes sense. Buy stars on, on Facebook. You guys should go and buy stars. Anybody that enjoyed today's show, just go to Facebook. Under the video, you'll see where to buy stars and buy stars. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. This oh was God. wonderful. Thank you, my so darling cute. Yella. That oh was so God. cute and nice. Um, <laughs> and for all of you, Thank you, um, Ibis Love Haven. And thank you, my lovely sister from Ghana, Hali. Thank you so thank much. You. And everybody else who talked, uh, Hayere was just there typing duty because Alibaba seemed to support a lot of the things Hayere said, but Hayere said them in a different way. So Hayere was like, yeah. I don't know why, man. but I still don't duty. see that the, same, the same thing. That's duty. Duty. Do buy stars, me. buy stars. He was giving me yeah, more of a soldier up. vibe. Uh -huh. I don't know, he's too hard. Like, just... <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Big shout out to um, Debbie. I don't know if Debbie is here or uh, uh, she was with us earlier on. Thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you so much, Vidoma, uh, who also joined us. I'm sorry I can't bring any more people now, uh, but thank you all and look forward to having you again tomorrow on the live. Uh, join us. You always would learn something. Today, we all learned something. And I all of a sudden don't feel old school and old fashioned again because I used to feel like this is their own flower love. Buy me flower, buy me. Mm. Uh, wake me up saved. in the morning, love, with a kiss. Oh, we try to do all those things. But if you don't do them, doesn't mean you're not romantic. Whatever you do is romance. <laughs> the washing machine guy is romantic. The flower guy is love, romantic. Love language is different. Yes, exactly. It's all uh -huh. about love language. But yes. the flower what guy will just... But listen, you know there are some women... That would judge the washing machine guy and says he's so he's so he's so boring. Imagine brought a washing machine so I can wash his. But clothes. honestly, if you know that's not what I'm into, you know I like flowers and so 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 and this one and that one. And then you still bought me a washing. I'm going to look at you like, do you know? If you Imagine in the day, Kada, they bought flower when we we're younger. Yeah, so it doesn't make sense. So I should eat it. <laughs> You know, my father, for instance, can, cannot understand some things. My father cannot understand goldfish, it's fish that you are keeping that you cannot eat. Can cook for you. What, what is bad in it? Me that can go and go and be packing plates. Let me give you an example. I can prove to you that why should I do that? Do Let me give you an example. My father does not understand goldfish, as you keep a fish that you cannot eat inside the aquarium and be feeding it, and you buy it for expense for plenty oh, money. My father does not understand goldfish. My father does not understand pigeons. If it's not chicken that, okay, you are rearing this chicken so that you can eat it, or this turkey, or, or catfish. Instead of giving my father a 100k aquarium with 10 goldfish, give him a 100k fish pond with 10 catfish. My father will communicate with those cats. He understands them. So he used to stress me growing up because he never could understand why I loved aquariums and fish and all these animals that you cannot eat. And you are keeping them and spending money on them but they are therapeutic for me they I, I i i love to i don't know how to put it so you guys need to understand one of the worst things that we do is we judge other people through our own eyes and often through our shortcomings many of those people that say eh, his husband does not know all he does buy her car buy her house you that can buy flower cannot buy car and let me tell you if that woman left him that is buying car and came to stay with you for flower after three or four years she will go back looking for someone that can buy a car because if rain is beating you at the bus stop you cannot use flour to cover yourself <laughs> <laughs> you know, i learned a lesson tonight i learned a lesson tonight um i've been married for 17 years and um early in the marriage i discovered that i love cooking but if i cook i'm not able to hit so i was losing weight so my husband took it upon himself to cook so he cooks or myself and the children, I don't cook. I don't go to the kitchen. I, I can't remember the last time I cooked. Now, I fight my husband often that he doesn't say I love you. He doesn't say it. He's the shy introvert. So he doesn't say I love you. But he does things. Well, I not you see? No. I, till now, I still do it. I'm still like, can't you even open your mouth and say it? Can't you just say it? <laughs> but you, after the lecture tonight, you say, I've taken something with me. He has his ways of showing love, but he can't he can't say it. That's so he's it. romantic acting, but not speaking. Good. You understand? Me, I know how to say it. Something valid tonight. I know how to say it and I know how to act it, but I'm not gonna judge anyone. Thank you so much everyone for calling.
uh, for coming on behalf of Daniela and I at Daniela. Danny.yella is her Instagram handle. I will tag her in the video. Do follow her and support her. Thank you. Big shout out to Taste Buds. Guys, patronize um, Taste Buds. Uh, the WhatsApp number is plus two three four nine zero nine six four four eight four double three. Um, and when I come live tomorrow, we'll be sharing some of her uh, um, meal options and all that. Plus two three four nine zero nine six four four eight four double three. Thank you all so much, and for all those who bought stars, especially Reggie Baby, Nurse <laughs> Reggie Baby. Oh, babes, I love you loads. You are amazing. And also K Bossman, Nurse Reggie Baby bought 6,500 stars and K Bossman bought 2,000 stars. You are my highest star war warriors today. God bless you, Reggie Babe. You did it again. This is the second time in a row. Oh, no, I just. Not a kiss today. Not kiss today that Reggie Baby. Mwah. Reggie Baby, Ali Baba gave you free lecture. He, I, I've just told him to mention Reggie Baby, and then I'm sure she, her day would have been made. God bless you all. Thank you so much. On behalf of Daniela Bye. and I, you see you guys Bye. soon. Bye. Bye. Um, cover. Let me look for the cover where I need a in the shot. I need you in the shot too. See, you are, you, you are looking in all of the cameras, except the one that really matters. Is it that one?